Okay, back to let's throw up that uh, browser again. And let's get going here. Uh, so get back to channel Z. And uh, for this one, we're going to talk about creating playlists. Um, creating playlists are fairly easy in channel Z. Um, it's actually much easier than if I had done it uh, uh, a cleaner way using uh, YouTube's API to download the playlist. Um, what I do instead of how they do things, I, um, well first to create a playlist you click on that that title bar so you go back up here and you go up to your welcome and that's how you create your playlist. I do that because you know I, I don't want people to really figure it out but I, you know the people that are willing to poke around will find out how to do it. Um, you hit submit this generates a link then you drag and drop that link into the bookmark bar and that becomes your um, no, it didn't look like it worked yeah. and what it does is that becomes your login and password to your to your playlist so you can say my first my first z z well you can say my first channel and then hit return and then uh, you click into it and first it shows you what's called the arrangement screen we need to go to select this is it auto fills with uh, Elvis content and then we select all of these videos and we go to this there's a little red button down here that deletes those videos and then uh, you go to um, to add videos to the playlist the easiest way to do this is to use what are called bookmarklets and so I go to arrange and I drag some bookmarklets onto my bookmark bar so one is called YouTube image based code sucker and then there's another one called channel C bookmarklet and uh, what you do is you go you open up a sec uh, tab and you go to YouTube or whoops youtube.com hit return and uh, well you go up here and then you go ahead and you do um, a search for YouTube content so let me see um, uh, what are we you know I was gonna work on some XTC music videos so I'd say XTC playlist and uh, then I pick uh, what looks to be like the a good playlist I'll do this one and that one and this one and then I click into those playlists into one of the playlists and I wait and what you do you want to do first is you want to uh, try to see try to get it to fill up all the videos it uses something called Ajax that um, will connect to the server and it will fill out the web page and it won't fill out the web page unless you explore it like this and tell you completely load up all the images here the videos and then you click on the Either, either one of these should work so I would try the YouTube image based code sucker and um, something that it tends to do on the first time is it tends to pull in videos from a cache a hidden cache that YouTube YouTube pre-caches videos that it thinks that you might want to see and it throws them into the page um, you might have to if it does that we have to refresh it and do it again um, and the refresh that the videos won't show up um, so it's doing that but it looks like it, it, it was fair it just didn't it didn't do any pre-caching it looks like all the content is from XTC 
what the there's some content on in that isn't it doesn't look like it no it's all XTC and so then we just go to the top and we hit check all and uh, then we hit add content to channel and uh, so it throws it into the YouTube channel I mean into the channel Z site and then from this screen you can go ahead and you can edit the um, the beginning and end of the videos so you can like um, this this first one is the mayor of simpleton and uh, um, you want to get rid of this thing so that you can edit this hit it in play mode and then uh, and then uh, sometimes it won't work uh, there it goes and then you see it it what it does is it plays about a th couple of seconds of video after each change you make so you can figure out kind of where it's going to end up and then you hit um, you hit set video that will uh, it will set in stone the start and ending of the video content it'll jump ahead and it'll start viewing the content then you can also adjust the volume level if it's too loud you can adjust it down and hit set video and it will set for that video the volume level that you prefer and, and uh, then you can go through the entire playlist and do that this is a long laborious process do you, this many videos could take you easily an hour to do um, I prefer not to to work that way I use a script called auto harp which is a script I wrote that goes through and um, downloads uses YouTube DL to download all the videos in the playlist and then we'll turn around and um, <clears throat> we'll then turn around and adjust the um, the start and end times for the for the video for the video um, information the meta information in the playlist it doesn't actually use the video content itself directly I mean it uses it indirectly through the YouTube embed so what I'm doing is I'm basically um, I'm basically um, analyzing the video content and storing in the and compensating for content uh, into the playlist setting the start and end times based upon the silence in the video so when the silence ends on the front and when it begins on the end will determine how I should truncate the video in time based upon the sound the, the output of the audio and um, from the audio it can also determine uh, what to how to compensate for the, the volume of the video um, the recording volume of the video to create um, stuff that's equated and so um, or what's called um, limited or um, another word for is normalized so it normalizes the playlist uh, in time and in, in volume and um, so that that's and, and it'll throw you in here and if you want to change the volume for all the videos in the playlist you can do that and hit adjust playlist loudness and click that and then you will see everything turns to red that means that the uh, volume has changed and so we adjust the playlist again and uh, let's shut off the and hit uh, adjust playlist and then do it again because it's not full up and then we hit and then that will max out the audio but then it will lose if you used a program like auto harp it would lose the um, it would lose the compensation for the volume levels um, and then you would get kicked in the ear when something that was recorded loud comes in um, so anyhow that's how you c configure your your videos um, is this video editor and that's how you bring in videos from YouTube um, 
when you delete videos in here it doesn't delete the videos you selected it deletes the one before just a word of warning and um, let me see I think that's pretty much it so let's cover something different in the next tutorial I'm going to go back to the arrangement screen and so okay we'll do this we'll pick it up in another tutorial hold on